Hi everybody, another day, another unboxing, uh, another set of general speakers. I only have the one of them here on my table because I saw in my last video that it looks a bit messy with both of them. But I'm gonna set them up by my computer and you will see them both together. Uh, this is the G4 speaker, uh, so this is the G series, the home series, and uh, this is the second to the biggest one. And, uh, and uh, this is, uh, if I'm gonna be honest, if you're gonna have, uh, if you want a really big G series speaker, if you like the G series, which I really do, uh, because for me, somehow it feels more suitable to me, it feels more simple with the home speaker than the uh, professional speaker because I only want to plug in my RCA cables and that's it. So I really like the, the G4 series for several reasons, uh, plus I love the white color. You also have uh, more or less the same look, the typical generic look. Uh, and the color in other kind of speakers, but those cost a lot more. And uh, with the G series, as I said, this is the second to the biggest one. Uh, this is the G4, which puts out 90 watts uh, times two, uh, so 90 for the woofer and 90 for the for the small element. Uh, the second or the biggest one, the G5, it weighs five kilos more. It's a lot bigger. Uh, it puts out, I think, 150 plus 120 watts. Uh, so it's a big step between between the G4 and the G5. And in my honest opinion, if you're gonna put that money uh, on that size of speakers. You are probably, no, you are better off with a professional speaker than, than the G5. So for me, I like the G series. This is the biggest, baddest of them all uh, for the money. These cost here in Sweden uh, 11,500 kroners each, which translates about um, 2,200 euros for, for the both of them and why I have these at home now is because I have a friend of mine that has uh, he uh, listened to the to the G, G1 series speakers and the G3 and he liked them a lot but he ain't gonna use them for his computer he's gonna use them for his TV his home cinema and he has he told me he has a budget around uh, 2,000 euros and as you all know if you have a budget on 2,000 euros you're gonna end up paying 3,000 euros if you have budget on 5,000 euros you're gonna end up paying 7,000 8,000 euros so this is where we at and uh, Odenia uh, let me borrow these because uh, Odenia have a showroom in, in Malmö city where you can listen to a bunch of general -like speakers and matrix products uh, but this guy wanted to hear them in a noisy environment as my as my own uh, where i have my computer going all all the time i have windows that make whistling noises i have neighbors making noises i have a bunch of noises around in my apartment i have big windows that uh, reflect the noise badly so he wanted to hear them in a bad environment just to see how good they are because you can take you can take the G3s, the, the smaller size, in a perfect environment, uh, adjust them and everything, and they will sound amazing. In an environment like myself, like my own, I think you should have a couple of sand speakers so you can calibrate them perfectly. No matter where where your sofa is located, no, no matter how big your windows are or whatever, uh, with the sand um, system, you will get the perfect sound, however your, your, your room looks like. But these are going to get sort of a challenge. I'm going to try them uh, by my computer, I'm going to try them uh, by my TV, 
uh, where, my, where I have the, the bigger uh, the ones at the moment and uh, we will see how these sound I like these, I like the size I like the pricing because as I said uh, the G5 that is I think like this uh, cost a lot more uh, so the next step should be any of the Pro Series speakers but for, for the money, for the size, for the design, of course for the design uh, this is a very good speaker to have as your main speakers for your home stereo for your uh, surround sound or whatever for your cinema, home cinema for the computer, if you are like me, fine uh, but uh, maybe a bit too much for that but mostly you have a big speaker a great quality speaker you still have the aluminum case and everything you have the design you have the white color for that kind of money uh, around 2200 euros for 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 two really great speakers i think these are the best bang for the buck if you are like me you have them at home you run them all the time um, even if you don't play loud you want to play low music when you have people at home or maybe you're working at the computer and you still want that bass these are a perfect size for that you don't need any subwoofer for these uh, so yeah I'm gonna give you a closer up uh, I'm gonna turn them around so you can see the connections I'm gonna give you the the specs right off the sheet uh, because I don't have the numbers in my head so be right back so here's your close-up it, it actually looks more like more or less like the other um, other G1 speakers except from you have both the XLR connection and you have the RCA uh, connection so uh, it maybe sounds stupid of me to say that these are uh, the home version because then people think that this is not a professional speaker they are absolutely still a professional speaker it's just that the housing, the design is more for home use uh, I think these you should have on a pedestal uh, or, or a stand uh, these shouldn't be on a table uh, they are too big to put on the wall so on a pedestal, on a stand I'm going to show you how I'm going to use them here at home I'm gonna try this out for a while just so my friend can, can come here and listen to them uh, otherwise uh, on Dendia uh, I have them uh, in the showroom in the city these as well as every other size uh, Denver speaker so yeah I, I, I really like the, 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 the G series I like the matte white color I like the, uh, the white uh, shield uh, for the element and I like that you have both XLR connection and the standard RCA connection uh, you all also have the dip switches a bunch of them here uh, tabletop yeah you, you can do just, just anything with these so once again for the money if you want a big and well uh, sounding speaker active speaker uh, this is the best bang for the buck for the money if you want uh, if you want to put more money in it or if you want a bigger speaker then you should go with a sam series uh, speaker so um yeah uh this is it i guess for this speaker uh, i forgot to give you the the specs uh, but we have the woofer is six and a half inch uh, yeah, six and a half inch woofer uh, they weigh 8.6 kilos each uh, 90 watts 90 watts yeah that's it uh, even though I think that those specs doesn't tell you so much about a speaker today uh, you have to listen to them to, to really understand how, how good they are I haven't listened to 
this yet. Uh, after I've done that, I'm gonna write it in my in my post, in my blog post. But I've listened to other speakers from Genelec in this size. Everything from uh, 8340, I think they are uh, the smallest, the ones, uh, the M040, a bunch of speakers in this size. In this size. So I'm curious how about how this different from the others, uh, because maybe it sounds weird to say, but I, I think that these are really cheap. Uh, so a good pricing of a good speaker, a loud, uh, a large speaker. I hope you like my my videos. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe. Comment if you have any questions or any input or anything about my uh, about my videos. Thanks. All right, I did this setup just so you can get a size reference because uh, some critic to Genelec uh, on their website uh, you don't really get you all you always have the specs on sizes and uh, weight and everything but I feel that you don't get the feeling about how big the speaker are uh, if you see the G series you can check G1 to 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 G5 and it looks like they have the same picture just blown up. So G4, uh, 14 inch uh, PC, uh, laptop, uh, so yeah, and of course I don't run it just by the computer, I have a small DAC as well, a small but powerful one, uh, just so I can get the sound out. Uh, I turn the switches to, to, uh, to uh, desktop, but I'm gonna run them a, a couple of hours, a couple of days before I give them a, a uh, because usually you want those about 150 hours before the base really gets loose and works it. So what I do when I'm at home, I let them run in this volume, more or less, maybe a bit louder. Uh, so they run uh, as much as possible the first days. So yeah, uh, General G4, uh, 14 inch uh, laptop. No, I'm not only a Mac guy. I switch a lot. And a small deck uh, just to show you. Uh, with these, I'm gonna run my bigger Matrix uh, deck. Yeah, not the small one. I'm gonna run the bigger one with these. Uh, even uh, if the small one is really good enough, but it's just for fun. So I'm gonna replace my uh, my bigger of the ones with these just for a couple of days. So yeah. Alright, this is this unboxing. Uh, I really hope you give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. I need those thousands of thousands of subscribers. Thanks.